I'm just gonna start, how do you go to the bathroom? The worst thing about my nails is on my right hand. It bumped the floor and it hurt. That's the worst thing, but other than that, everything is all right. No, I don't wear jeans with zippers because it's too much work. <laughs> I wore a pair of jeans about three years ago. But it wasn't pull it wasn't buttoned up. It was pull-ups. I could pull my jeans up. I can't pull it. <laughs> I don't wear a shirt with buttons on them. I always wear pullovers. Where I can pull it over my head. I always wear stuff like that. If it's long sleeve, I don't wear long sleeves. But if I wear a short sleeve, a short sleeve will come open, and I open it with this hand and put my arm in. Then I use this hand, and after this getting in, this is the main step. Then the second hand go in easily. You know, I wore a long sleeve shirt about 20 years. Been that long. <laughs> when I put on makeup, I fold my, fold my nails across my arm and I pick up the makeup and put it on. I always gotta fold my arm now in order to pick it up. Cause I won't be able to pick it up unless I fold one of my arms. I can get a knife and I pop the can on the top with a knife, a, a, a pointed steak knife. I stick it through the top and pop it over. I had to stick my nail out the window to drive the car, and it was cold, so I ain't do it no more. No, I used uh, a long fork that I used to, if I'm gonna turn chicken over, I use a fork like that. Or if I'm gonna use a spoon, I use a big silver spoon. I use them type of utensils because it's a longer reach. Well, I don't have to bend down too far to eat. I'm just gonna start, how do you go to the bathroom? It'd be the same as anybody else would go to the bathroom. But it's just that I work with my nails, my nails probably in a different way they would work with third. Just. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of toilet paper. <laughs> I wipe myself with a lot of toilet paper. <laughs> When I go to a public restroom, I go to the, to the star that is the biggest. If someone in that star, I have to wait till they finish and then go in, because I can't use the smaller ones, because my nails is longer than the smaller bathroom. When I wash my hands, I take and put a lot of liquid soap in my hands, and I do one hand at a time, and I take and scrub it with this hand, then I switch to the other hand and do the same. When I open my mail, I use a steak knife to open it. I sleep in the bed. When I sleep in the bed, I sleep with, I pick this hand up and it lay to my side. But this hand, I lay across the bed, hanging over the bed. It's more comfortable. Well, when I hang my nail off the bed, my left hand, it's more comfortable for me if I'm asleep on my side. When I use my feet, if I have to pick up clothes off the floor, or I can even use my feet to open the refrigerator. I can use my feet if I have to, um, I can use it to open the oven, but I want to use it to cook with them. <laughs> if I have to pick money off the floor, I can pick up like bills, but if I drop change on the floor, that'll just stay down there. I can pick that up. <laughs> oh, well, that was a young man that told me, yeah, I bet you up under your clothes you got muscles. Cause you're near, <laughs> that's your arm, bigger than mine. 
do what he said to me. And I was like, I never noticed it. Until one day I actually looked and paid attention. And I was like, you got muscles. <laughs> so, and I think that was the funniest thing somebody said to me. Yeah, people, you know, when I go in public, people will stare. Or they ask, sometimes they will come up to me and ask, can they take a picture? I didn't used to let nobody take a picture, but now if they ask me, I let them take a picture. But if, um, if you like sneaking and taking a picture, that's uncomfortable. And so I don't like that. I don't think I, you know, I don't think I ever cut my nails. If someone come to me and give me a hundred thousand dollars to cut my nails, I wouldn't cut my nails because my nails is so much of a part of me. But you know, my family think sometimes they'll tell me, "Mom, you need to cut your nails," and I tell them, "Man, you business." And that's it. <laughs> Man, you busy. Living with my mom, <laughs> at first it wasn't difficult, but the longer they have gotten within the past few years, it became extremely di difficult because now we have to be extra ca careful and we always dodging around her so she won't hit us in the face or something. Or we won't trip over her nails. My family love her nails. They love my mom nails. They always, they just love her nails. <laughs> like they like pay extra attention to her and they just think she like special. Well, I haven't been to a nail salon in about 22 years. Thought when they see me coming, they be like, oh no. And so they don't want to, they don't want to deal with it. Cause they say that's, that's too much. My niece loved painting my mom nails, so. It started off with um, my two nieces. They started off painting my mom nails, and then once I ended up having my daughter, at, when she got to a certain age, she just kind of joined the crowd because she loved playing the fingernail polish, so it was like right up her alley. <laughs> the person who do my nails is my two grandbabies. One is nine and one is 20. Them all ones, so I want to deal with them. Other than that, won't nobody else do my nail. One nail took four to five hours, and that was just a half a nail. Well, first you got to file them with the buffer, with that nail filer thing I use. Then you got to take them buffer, and then you got to polish them. So just to polish by itself, it's a long time, even if I don't get them filed. It take a long time to just polish them. Every four or five years, I get my nail painted, polished every four or five years. And I go through about 15 to 20 bottles of nail polish. I, last time I painted my nail was this week, and it took four days. <laughs> <laughs>